Good morning, Rosa. I have just been talking with the supervisor of the training center about the apprentice who is joining us next week. I will meet him on Monday morning. Good morning, John. I just bring the contract in here. I've just picked it up from the management office. I will check it, sign in, and I will pass it to you. Don't forget to handle it to the supervisor on Monday. Okay. They also have emailed the insurance policy with the coverage and the personal liability. I have just checked both dates, the starting date and the finishing date, and both are okay. I think it will be interesting to share these documents with the department so that they are aware of it, just in case. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hadn't thought about it, but you're right. All of us should know how to proceed just in case of accident with the apprentice. I will share this document with the department and I will make it clear that all of us have to read it. Okay, have you printed all the documents that the training center sent us? We have the contract, the insurance policy, but what about the apprentice agreement, the monitoring plan and the assessment plan? I have a look at them and I think there are some things that we should check with the supervisor on Monday, don't you think so? Yes, I have the printed documents here. In addition, they also have sent the CV of the apprentice and the study program specifying what the training center expects him to learn while the apprenticeship with us. Didn't you use those documents when you agreed on the apprentice with the supervisor? Yes, I did, but I didn't get any copy of them and the supervisor told me that he would send them by email. We have to keep all those documents with us. And do we have to write something or keep any kind of record or evidence? Yes, we have to keep a record of all that evidence is that will be used for the later assessment of the apprentice. Uh, the supervisor will explain me with more detail some aspects, but they are basically issues related to personal competencies, knowledge and personal skills. That's why I have to create some kind of platform or app uh, in order to keep all those records. I think also that there is some kind of notebook for the apprentice that he will use for his own records, for his own evidences. And on Monday, they will also show us the digital application they use in the training center and maybe we can take some ideas from there. All right. I think it would be interesting to keep all these records for our company and for future apprenticeships. And then we have to prepare a work plan as well. Based on the hints of the supervisor and the CV of the apprentice, we can start writing it. And I'm thinking that maybe the supervisor can help us with some templates. And there is a questionnaire too at the end, I think. Yes, there are still a couple of documents more. One is to control the degree of compliance and the other one is literally to register the skills acquisition level. Oh, what a lot of paperwork. Don't worry, they are just checklists, very easy to fill in.